Yeah, um, coming off, looking back at uh, last weekend, uh, playing a really good Lafayette team. Um, I think Coach Napier is doing a really great job there with recruiting and just uh, the direction and just how his team plays, how hard they play. Uh, uh, you know, very tough challenge for us. But, you know, looking back at how we played, I thought we came out with uh, some pretty good energy. Uh, it's kind of like the same things that we talk about all week. Uh, you know, every single time we do this, I think the defense is playing at a high level. Offense is struggling to score points. And special teams, we actually had uh, – uh, we play very well in this game, but you go in and we come, we go out and we fight them for a half and it's 10, three at halftime going in, kids got a good look in their eye. And then you come out in the second half. We just, we just couldn't hold it together. Uh, you look at the past two weeks, uh, the opponent has scored 21 points and we've scored zero in the second half. And that's kind of where we are going towards right now. It's a, we got to learn how to do four quarters of fight and learn how to finish and keep continuing to learn how to play as a team. I think we're struggling right now in terms of, of understanding momentum swings. This game is strictly built on momentum, and we've got to recognize it and to be able to play off of each other. And when one side of the ball is struggling, another one's got to step up and, and make a play and change it. And uh, that's kind of where we're struggling right now. Is uh, I think the kids are playing well um, in terms of effort. I just think we're not playing well together as a team. But uh, I think that, uh, uh, that we've addressed it, and I think these kids are ready to get this thing rolling again with a homecoming game with uh, South Alabama coming in, which is going to be a, a, a good matchup for us. And I think these kids uh, are ready to get out there and start playing. So questions? Yeah, thanks, Coach. Uh, first questions come from um, Whitney Hayworth. Uh, Whitney, please go ahead. Good morning, Coach. How are you? Hey, what's going on this morning? Yeah, doing well, doing well. Uh, you know, started, excuse me, started Tyler Vitt for the second straight game, obviously seeing some improvement there, but also still a few mistakes. Kind of how do you evaluate his play at this time? I, I think he's a really tough kid. Uh, I think he plays extremely hard and leaves it out there. I, we just got to be better for him in, his, in the supporting cast. I, I think that he's getting better each week. Um, you know, we kind of threw him into a situation two weeks ago and first Arkansas State, and then now he's going out here. I think he's getting better. Uh, we just got to keep finding positions and ways to to put him in more successful uh, situations. And, uh, you know, I, I just been pleased with how he is in terms of he cares a lot. He takes a lot of shots. He's going to fight till the end. Um, there's no quit in him, which, I, again, I've said this before, I just I appreciate that of those kids. But, uh, we just got to keep finding things that he's capable of doing and where we can move the ball more efficiently. Because right now our Achilles heel is that we can't move the ball. We can't score points right now. When you look at South Alabama, they're a team that's similar to you in, in how you've described your team where you have bright spots, but then you can't play all four quarters. You have this, but then you don't have this. Um, so when you look at them offensively, how, do you, how have you seen them, how, how have you seen South Alabama kind of come together and improve game in and game out? Um, but then also maybe some some of their lapses as well. Yeah, I think they're I I think they're coached well. I I think uh, Coach Campbell puts them in a lot of great positions. Um, you know, you look at the style of play when you when you play teams that score a lot of points, they they get an eleven personnel and they utilize the quarterback and run game and and they throw it around a little bit. Uh, a little bit more than what you normally see, and then when you play teams that are lower scoring point like teams that they're they're going to get in and ball control you, and they do a lot of option type stuff, which uh, it's very unique. They're playing to what those kids are capable of doing. Uh, they they will big play at times as well, and, you, and you've seen that before, which they have that capability. Um, you know, I think it just kind of going off of what coach, you know, you're talking about South Alabama. I bet you Coach Campbell's having the same exact conversations I'm really having with the team. You know, it's just the consistency of who we want to be and playing together as a team and keeping that up for four quarters. And, you know, there, it sounds like a lot of coach speak, but there's uh, just a lot of truth to all of that. And you look at where South Alabama is, they're almost even with us in every single category in the entire conference. So um, we, we've definitely got – a, a team that we if it, it's going to come down to the team that plays more consistently and has the least amount of mistakes. That's kind of the message that I'm giving to the team as well, and I bet you Coach Campbell's doing the same. And last one for me, obviously, when you look at South Alabama's offense, you know, run through Trey Menner. So how do you slow him down and stop him up front and right away? Ta talented kid. You know, he's definitely uh, already been many discussions this morning and game planning and, and uh, not just from a 
an offensive perspective for them, but also a special teams perspective. Uh, you know, there, there's definitely uh, guys that we have to make sure that we can contain because I do enjoy watching good players, and he's fun to watch because he's got the capability of uh, of hitting the home run shot. But you know, he's a tough kid, and, and he uh, you can tell he earns everything that he that he does, and uh, that's definitely going to be a point of emphasis for us on defense.